Alert, my dear students, we are studying the topic not for profit organization, uh, also known as clubs and societies. Now, we have already studied how to make the income statement for shop or maybe cafe or refreshment. Now, the second part that we need to learn is what is a subscription income? Uh, but uh, you may be aware that. Uh, all of the clubs need money to maintain their services okay although they are not for profits although they are not meant to earn profit but earning profit is one thing and the money that is required to maintain the level of service is something other okay so what we need to do the club needs to charge some fees from its member so that it can kept running okay to maintain the facilities of the club and to pay for the staff or maybe rent of the uh, clubhouse or premises and to pay for the uh, services that we are getting from outside and to buy the equipment we need uh, some money okay so we are going to charge some fees uh, although it will be a nominal fees it won't be some uh, extravagant uh, 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 money but we still need to charge some fees from the members in order to run the show okay so the fees we are going to charge from our members would be subscription it would be called a subscription now as you may be aware that subscription is an income for the club okay and for income we learned in the previous topic that is accruals and prepayment and there were two types of accounts one was pwap pop account and that for meant for expense and for income, we need to make this upper account A P P A, accrued, prepaid, prepaid, and accrued. Now, better there are two types of subscription income. One is accrued income, and one can be a prepaid income. Accrued income, what does that mean, better? Accrued income means that we have provided facility to our members, but the members have still not paid the amount due okay so the money uh, that our members owe us this is accrued income and accrued income is basically an asset for the club okay so the accrued income is asset now the opening balance for asset would come on the debit side and the closing balance must come on the credit side now the prepaid income with a prepaid income is a liability for the club uh, prepaid income means that members have paid uh, in advance but we haven't yet provided them the services that we promised them okay so the services that needs to be provided to the members in the future it's an obligation on the part of the club and this is the liability for the club so liability obviously comes on the credit side now the opening balance for liability would comes on the credit side and the closing balance must come on the opposite side that is debit side but in the exam, we do not write APPA. Instead, we are going to write balance BD and balance CD. And for the same reason, I have written it with a pencil. Now, the opening balance for accrued would come on the debit side. Now, the closing accrued income would come on the credit side. Now, if there is an opening prepaid, it's a liability. It should come on the credit side. Now, it's not necessary in all of the questions. APPA, all four adjustments are given. Maybe they are all four. Maybe there are three adjustments as the case in my example there is no opening prepaid and there can be two or it can be minimum uh, of the one adjustment okay it cannot be less than one because if there is not a single adjustment for accrued prepaid then it's uh, not the concept that we are studying then uh, whenever uh, the members pay us the fees now the entry that the club was going to be making would be bank account would be debited and subscription account would be created now the entry would be with a bank account would be debited and the subscription account would be created now the subscription is an income and what happens when one or a few of the members uh, fail to pay us the required amount now they are known as irrecoverable debt whenever the members have availed the services and for which they haven't paid the amount due then it is known as an irrecoverable debt also previously known as a bad debt but the newer name is irrecoverable debt now the entry beta would be irrecoverable debt account would be debited and the subscription account would be created okay 
now uh, the irrecoverable debt would come on the credit side uh, maybe a um, few members gave us the money but they haven't used the services and due to some reason they were relocating themselves to some other place and they requested for a refund okay so what if the club accepted their uh, maybe application for refund and the club refunded the amount to them so cash or bank of the club would be credited and if the bank is being credited then the subscription account would be debited now this would be known as a refund okay now what happens better at the end of the year although we are aware that an income is credit in nature and what happens at the end of the year this income account needs to be closed and it needs to be debited and in it it needs to be transferred to an income statement but instead of writing the income statement we are going to write income and expenditure account now what is an income and expenditure account beta uh, the main income statement of the club is known as income and expenditure account and this amount for uh, subscription income would needs to be written in an income and expenditure account with the name of subscription income now we'll be uh, uh, visiting this income and expenditure in the later part in the later class sis inshallah and right now we are uh, focusing on this how to uh, calculate a subscription income by preparing this subscription account that is appa account okay accrued prepaid prepaid account now beta we have the question welcome cricket club that we visited previously as well and previously we saw cafe income statement and now we need to prepare this uh, subscription account in order to find the subscription income although if you see the requirements the examiner has not clearly asked to prepare a subscription account but the examiner has asked to prepare an income and expenditure account and income and expenditure account is the main income statement for the club and one of the most important source of income for any club is the subscription okay so uh, whoever the members of the welcome cricket club are and the members uh, whom we are teaching them and we are coaching them how to play cricket and these members needs to pay for the facilities of the club and this is a subscription income although we are not clearly required to prepare a subscription account but we cannot find the subscription income that needs to be entered in an income and expenditure account uh, before we make this subscription account so what we need to do beta we need to prepare this subscription account in rough workings and although uh, obviously these workings will fetch you marks in the exams okay so and in income we make a uh, appa account accrued prepaid prepaid accrued okay uh, this, this is accrued income and this is prepaid income now beta whenever uh, the members pay us the money now the fee, uh, entry would be a uh, bank account would be debited and subscription that is income account would be credited now income is credit in nature what happens at the end of the year this income account needs to be debited and it needs to be transferred to where instead of writing income statement we are going to write the reference income and expenditure account okay because the name of the club's main income statement is not the income statement income statement is only used for cafe or refreshment or shop for the club income statement we are going to write income and expenditure account now let us see the entries uh, now uh, previously we used to scan for the word cafe and now we are going to scan for the word subscription now see in the receipt and payment account that is the cash book of the club we have received subscriptions this year 34000 this means our members had paid us how much money $34,000 in this year uh, for subscriptions okay for using the facilities of the cricket club now are there any accrued or prepaid yes we can see subscription outstanding but outstanding means accrued uh, uh, maybe it, it, it the examiner will use the word outstanding or accrued or unpaid or due or owing okay areas these are all the same thing okay this this is all the same now the opening for accrued is opening would be on 1st May. Okay, opening is 2200 and closing is 3600. Now the opening accrued would come on the debit side and the closing accrued would come on the credit side. Now beta, instead of writing accrued, I am going to write balance BD. And instead of writing this closing accrued, I am going to write balance BD. Now what about the prepaid income? Uh, 
for the prepaid the examiner use another word that is advance okay so the members are paid in advance for which they haven't yet uh, received the services and uh, our liability to provide the services to the member in the future is uh, our liability okay so the obligation to provide services is the liability now the opening for liability would come on the credit side that is 5000 and the closing uh, advance is 3500 now at the start of the year the members that they have paid us in advance was 5000 and at the end of the year the members that have paid us advance is 3500 now there aren't any irrecoverable debt or refund so i just need to balance this account now as you can see the bigger side is obviously the credit side now the bigger side beta would come on both of the sides and the shorter side would be transferred to where income and expenditure account now the bigger side is 42600 and i need to deduct this balance cd and balance bd as well in order to find this income and expenditure and this final figure that is 36900 what needs to be taken to where an income and expenditure account uh, which will be a learning in the later part now this balance beta carried down would becomes balance brought down and this would be written as a debit balance and this balance cd would come on the opposite side and you usually get one mark to do a balance bd and this is the final answer that is this unknown box and that we have calculated 36900 and this is basically subscription income all right beta there is another exercise with the name of uh, there is another question with the name of PP Rowing Club that is question number two and for which what we need to do we need to do the first part first requirement part A we need to prepare the subscription account okay now you may be aware beta subscription is an income for the club and for income we always make an upper account A P P N A accrued prepaid prepaid accrued now there can be two types of subscription one is accrued income and one is prepaid income now whenever our members pay us the amount so the entry would be cash or bank would be debited and subscription account would be credited now what happens at the end of the year beta subscription is credited by nature now at the end of the year we need to debit this account and we need to transfer it to where an income and expenditure account instead of writing income statement we are going to write income and expenditure now let us see are there any accrued or prepaid subscription at the uh, end of the year or start of the year now the year is ending on 31st March 2012 then the year must have been started on after March comes April 1st April 2011 now 1st April 2011 beta is uh, the opening balance now in the opening we have subscription due and unpaid due and unpaid means accrued income and subscription paid in advance beta it's a prepaid income okay so let us see there are two balance bds one is for accrued income and one is for prepaid income and there must be two balance series uh, there can be two or maybe one okay so let us see we have two balance brought down one we have an accrued income accrued income is basically an asset for the club so this means we have provided uh, the facilities to the members uh, but they haven't paid their due share okay so if opening accrued is coming on the debit side beta then the closing accrued must come on the credit side now i am doing this first that is due opening accrued if it's coming on the debit side then the closing accrued would come on the credit side that is opposite side now what about the prepaid income beta prepaid income or income received in advance it's a liability and opening liability beta it's coming on the credit side this means that the previous year some members have paid more than their due share and the extra amount that we have received in the last year uh, we didn't uh, record it as an income in the last year instead it should be recorded this year so it was a liability at the start of the year and the end of the year prepaid would come on the opposite side now are there any irrecoverable uh, uh, first of all see how much uh, we have received from members this year subscription received but we have learned uh, previously that the cash book is known as receipt and payment account here okay so the debit side we have subscription receive how much 84400 okay but whenever we are receiving the money from our members so the entry would be bank would be debited and the subscription account would be credited now are there any irrecoverable debt yes uh, let us read this note number three uh, the, in note number three, the examiner says of the subscription due on 1st April 2011 
280 remains unpaid and this is to be treated as a bad debt okay so the total amount that was due at the start of the year 2600 we have received the entire amount uh, instead of this amount and uh, are we expecting uh, to receive this amount in the future no we have lost the hope that the customers uh, we, we are not uh, using we shouldn't word use the word customers instead we will be using the word members so our members will not pay us this amount and this 280 needs to be recorded as an irrecoverable debt now the beta entry would be irrecoverable debt would be debited uh, because it's an expense and the subscription account needs to be created okay so now what we do need to do beta we need to find this income and expenditure value now as you can see the bigger side is obviously the credit side because there is no missing figure on the credit side where we need to add up the credit side and from this 94080 we need to deduct this balance bd and balance cd in order to find this income and expenditure value that is 86980 so beta this is basically the income that needs to be recorded in where an income and expenditure account now as you can see beta there are two balance series uh, the balance CD that is coming on the credit side should become balance BD and now this come uh, must come on the debit side and this balance CD that is coming on the debit side should become the balance brought down at the start of the next accounting period that is 4500 okay so this is better how we prepare a subscription account all right students we have uh, another question for subscription account and this question is a bit different from the previous questions because the examiner has twisted uh, the way data is given and let us read the question this is question number six on from your workbook page number 280 uh, the question is ocean fishing club okay so what we need to do better we need to prepare a subscription account okay although it's not specifically required uh, but in order to make the income and expenditure and sofp we would require to make a subscription account so let me okay but let's see what's different in this subscription account than we did previously uh, as you may be aware but a subscription is an income for the not-for-profit organization that is club and for income, we make an APPA account accrued, prepaid, prepaid, accrued. Okay, whenever we receive the money from our members, then the entry is bank account would be debited and an income account would be credited. And as you may be aware that income is credited by nature, what happens at the end of the year? At the end of the year, the income account that is credit in nature needs to be reversed, needs to be debited and need to be transferred to an income statement but in this case we do not write income statement in instead we write income and expenditure although you are not supposed to write i n e these short forms in the exam uh, in this question examiner is not specifically asked for to make a subscription account therefore i am doing rough workings in rough working you can write i n e but uh, if the subscription account is required by the examiner we cannot write INE or IS for income statement. Instead, we need to write the full uh, abbreviation. Okay. So first of all, let us see how much of the subscription we have received this year. As we can see better uh, in a receipt and payment account. What is the receipt and payment account? Another name for cash book is receipt and payment account. We have received subscription. How much? Uh, worth 7400. Now the entry is better. Bank would be debited and subscription account would be credited now what about these accrued and prepaid so normally beta in the questions uh, in this opening and closing column subscriptions are given accrued and prepaid but in this case as you can see there is no subscription that is given here and we need to go for additional information that is given uh, let us read note number two there are 350 members who each pay an annual subscription of 20. my dear students if you have already been informed by the examiner the total number of members of a club and the annual subscription fees that the club charges from its member we can directly multiply these two values in order to find the total income for the year 350 members multiplied by 20 per member this makes total of 7000 okay 350 members into 20 per member so we have already 7000 so if you want to prepare a, an income statement for the club 
and in this case we do not need to prepare the subscription account now the question here arises sir why are we preparing it we are preparing it because uh, there is one thing that is missing that is balance cd and this balance cd for prepaid or accrued need, uh, needs we need it uh, while preparing an sofp that is statement of financial position now let us complete this uh, now uh, there's a different type uh, of data in given in this question uh, as we can see on 1st april that is start of the year 30 members have paid in advance now 1st april beta its opening balance that is balance brought down and 31st march would be balance carried down now at the start of the year 30 members have paid in advance that is they paid in the previous year but they belong subscription belong to this year so what we need to do we need to multiply 30 members multiply by per member what is the subscription per member that is 20 dollars so we just need to multiply 30 into 20 in order to find this advance advance is basically prepaid so at the start of the year 30 members had paid in advance so this uh, makes uh, 600 dollars of prepaid income at start of the year uh, it is saying but 24 members had not yet paid not yet paid means it's an accrued income so 24 members multiply by uh, how much not yet paid so instead of writing beta accrued and prepaid we are going to write balance bd and balance cd 24 members had not yet paid this means it's it's an accrued income and accrued income is basically an asset for the business now the opening balance for asset would come on the debit side and the closing balance must come on the opposite side now instead of writing accrued i am going to write balance bd and balance cd so these are the both balance brought downs and what about the 31st mark this is end of the year 10 members had yet to pay yet to pay means accrued income yet to pay areas so 10 members uh, have not yet paid their subscription so we need to multiply 10 members into 20 so this makes total of 200 that is balance cd and what about this prepaid income we need to find this prepaid income and some members have paid in advance but the treasurer is not yet calculated how many now this is the figure for which we actually made a subscription account although it were the examiner does not specifically ask us to prepare the subscription account uh, but we cannot uh, find this value uh, if we are not preparing this account some members have paid in advance but a treasurer is not yet calculated how many and how can we calculate this if we have all other things given uh, beta we need to balance this t account and as we can see the greater side is credit why because there is no missing figure on the credit side if we add up the credit side and this greater side would come on both of the sides and if we subtract both of these values 480 and 7000 from this 8200 bigger value we are left with balance cd and this balance cd beta this uh, balance CD that is on the credit side would becomes balance BD on the opposite side and this balance CD of prepaid income would becomes balance brought down it will still remain prepaid but it will become balance brought down that is prepaid at start of the year so in this question the examiner uh, what if the examiner ask us that uh, how many members have paid in advance now we uh, as we can see the closing balance or the opening balance or the start of the year is $720 this means we have received subscriptions worth $720 from members for the upcoming year that is next year and subscription for each member annual subscription for each member is $20 so can we find the number of members yes uh, we need to divide the $720 that we do have received we have received extra and we need to divide it by $20 per member so this means 36 members have actually paid us the amount in advance so beta this is how we prepare a subscription account uh, for a not-for-profit that is club